Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Tuesday, August 7th. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Whatever this resonates with you, and this is for all signs, and this reading may not even be for you because I can't read for every single person. This is just a daily message that I'm picking up today. You know, it's an energy that I'm picking up on today. Whether it's already happened or not, you know, who knows. We're going to get a couple of Oracle cards first, and then we'll break into that tarot deck. No, oh, interesting, huh? Independence. Independence. Decide for yourself. Exercise your right to choose your decision. It's your decision. Everything is, right? You know, is independence the best option at this time? That's the question. You have the right to change your mind at any time. You really, really do. Maybe you're thinking about not wanting to be independent anymore. Uh, for some of you, you know, there's a question about a new relationship. Do I, am I ready to give up my independence? It's up to you. Yes or no. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yikes. Maybe independence is better. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a heavy decision. It really is. Do I want to be alone or not? I mean, that is the question. Is it better to focus on me and what my desires are or to involve another person and make some, make some serious compromises? Good question. Really good question. You know, there's going to be signs. There is with this pay attention to the red flags. There's going to be hidden signs, so be really seriously pay attention. Some people get the signs and don't pay attention. They don't listen. They see the signs and they ignore them. You know, also a sign could be that you are scared of commitment. dog is dreaming. She was crying in her dream. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but Okay. So, somebody is needing to have strength or needing to find the strength to make a decision to do the right thing with a page of coins, needing to really find their focus, their force within to make a decision regarding love. That's what this is. This is the two of, that's exactly what this is. Do I want the chariot reverse? Do I want to move forward with this or not? 
I feel as though, you know, somebody has to make, here's the clear decision, the Seven of Cups reversed, making that decision. What is right? What is the right thing to do? What is the right path? What path is going to bring me the most security, the most stability, the most logical path? Which path is the most logical? Do I fight for this? Or do I walk away? Do I put in effort? Or not? So I feel like today is a day of really standing up for, for yourself, taking a moment to figure it out, figure out what it is that you really want. Do you want to to follow through? Do you want to move forward or do you want to continue to just think about it? There's a lot of thinking. It's like the action wants to be taken, but I'm afraid to take action. You know, the Knight of Wands reverse. There's overanalyzing. Instead of just acting, somebody is oh, they're, they're analyzing their options. Okay, Trying to be practical with the King of Coins. Very practical, grounded, solid, stable, secure. You know, I really want something long-term here. I do. I want something long-term in love. But I want to make sure that this is the right direction with the Chariot reverse. It's like somebody is stalling, moving forward because they need to, they lack the confidence in this partnership, okay, there's a lack of confidence, but you need to find that strength, that confidence, that willpower, that courage to perhaps unblock your fears. A lot of this has to do with fear. It does. You know, with the Eight of Cups, there's been some emotional disappointment that somebody has to overcome. They have to find the strength to get over somebody walking away. I think that somebody has walked away in the past, and, and now they have to find the strength to, to not look back and to leave that past behind. I mean, you have to find the strength to leave that past behind. And I feel like somebody has lost their focus and their concentration for a minute and maybe lacks self-confidence in a new relationship. Therefore, it's stalled. This forward movement is stalled because of the past, because of this past hurt. But it appears that somebody is making it is in the decision making mode right now. They're making a decision as to what is best for me. I feel like you could be receiving an opportunity. The page of coins is an opportunity, a new opportunity. This could be an apology or a new offer from somebody that is very practical. It is very stable. It could be a, a, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo are right here. You know, I feel it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Cancer. Doesn't matter, could be any sign at all. I feel as though somebody is receiving an offer from somebody to perhaps, you know, come together, join, be partners. But somebody has these fears of, you know, being left being left behind anyway you know if I go this way I'm just gonna be left behind so I you know maybe I just need to protect myself I feel as though you know whoever is making this offer to you thinks that you are beautiful they think that you are very sexy and attractive and they want a chance they want to they want you to give them a chance but you're you're totally 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 at the point of just you know I'm really really considering this I'm really, really, really considering this partnership, but, you know, I, I'm very independent at this time. I've done a lot of healing work, and now your guard might be up with the Seven of Wands. I feel like somebody's guard is really up, and they lack confidence, maybe in themselves. I mean, the King of Wands reversed. This is lack of self-confidence, lack of self-worth, lack of confidence, lack of focus, lack of concentration, just a lack of... 
of knowing, you know, and wanting to keep things under control. Like, you know, if I, if I stay independent, I'm in control. If I become a partnership, I'm no longer in control. So I feel like there's definitely a decision weighing on the mind. And somebody is trying to see all those red flags in, while making this decision. Choose our decision, the choice. You are being offered an opportunity for love by somebody. It could be an earth sign. And you are being called to, you know, step outside of your comfort zone and probably give it a try. But your fears of whatever is happening, you know, being left out, being hurt that has happened in the past is causing you some angst. Okay. Somebody is stalling this beginning. Hmm. And you know, whoever this person is that's making the offer... I mean, these earth signs are very loyal. It's lo It wouldn't be flighty. I mean, and if this was upright, I could say that it was going to be something that wasn't going to stick. But it's reversed. Maybe, you know, this this situation is is genuine. I think it is genuine. Someone is making a genuine offer. They see your beauty. They really see your beauty. And they, they think that you are very, very attractive. They're attracted to you, put it that way. They're very attracted to you. You know, it's a time to rejoice. It's go out and have some fun. This could even be a reconciliation, a reunion of some sort. And it could lead to a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance, wish fulfillment. But somebody may be afraid of commitment, giving up their independence. So, I feel as though there's an opportunity for love here. There's an offer, a genuine, solid offer, whether it's an apology or a new offer. Somebody is making an offer to you. And you're being called to perhaps, you know, be playful. Give it a chance. Let them in. Have some fun. Loosen up. Give it a whirl. You don't have to commit, I mean, immediately. There's been some sort of, for some of you, there's been a bad breakup. There has. There's been a bad breakup that is hindering someone from feeling confident in this new beginning. And that's what this is. Somebody is still letting the past hurts control their their new partnership, their new union, their new opportunity. But it's time to take that next step. It's time to take it. Keep going. Somebody is holding on to something that doesn't serve them. Resisting this change, resisting this offer. You know, he's holding on to the offer. Somebody has an offer for you. And, you know, why would you want to throw it away? There's an opportunity for love here that is being offered to you. It's being handed to you. All you have to do is accept it, see it, give it a chance. There's an opportunity to build a new foundation with someone. Four, four, four. These are foundations. I mean, they're right together, too. Four, four, four. One of them's reversed. This is foundations. Angel guidance, universal protection. Also, pay attention to the signs when you see four, four, four. Inner peace and inner wisdom. There's in invisible forces here that are saying that you're on the right path. Keep going. Don't let this fears or whatever has happened in the past, whoever walked away from you and caused a lack of whatever, self-esteem, self-worth, lack of self-confidence, hold you back from 
a new building a new foundation with someone else I think there's an opportunity for a new foundation new partnership with someone that has been presented to you from above but your fears are holding you back and you are being called to give it a whirl just go out and have fun go with it just go with it this is this is you know replacing re replacing uh, fear with faith Replace your fear with faith. I mean, we have the chariot under here. I'm not going to move these cards. That's what that card is. It's reversed. Somebody is letting fears hold them back from a beautiful union. Look at those hands. One is one is white and, and one is, is black. This person could be um, not your... Not the same culture, not the same ethnicity as, as you, but it's a soulmate connection. Wow. I just noticed that. Amazing. Huh. It could lead to wish fulfillment. This guy is offering you something that's what I see he has something to offer don't let this other opportunity hold you back this opportunity that isn't real this is amazing there's an opportunity for for a, a relationship with somebody that in which it could lead to something very solid and stable. But you have to find the strength and the courage to not let this past hurt hinder your success. Because the chariot reverse is lack of success. You have to replace fear with faith and just go with it. Go with it. So anyway, this is what I have for today. I feel like somebody is has a decision and they're made they're in the process of making a decision in regards to opening themselves up to somebody that is not their usual type. And they have to replace that fear with faith. So yeah, that is what I have for today. There's an opportunity for Love, if you allow it. For those of you that are not looking for love, then this reading probably isn't for you. Because you're not you're not ready. You're 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 loving your independence. So anyway, this is what I have. Talk to you later.